on our equipment with the 10 stud wheels, we recommend that you crack the wheel nuts before you lift the axle. And the reason for that is they've been done up to 600 newton metres torque with one of these tension wrenches. And that's 442 foot pounds in the old scale. So out on the road, you're going to need a 1.2 metre bar exerting 50 pounds of force just to loosen that wheel nut. Alternatively, you can use one of these nutcrackers, which will undo it quite easily and we'll show you how now. One thing you'll notice about our torque multiplier is we've put a bit of red paint and a yellow sticker on it so it's uh, easily identified in the dark uh, because you still get flat tyres at night and um, when you're hunting around for your sockets uh, the little yellow stickers really uh, make them stand out. Now, you need a 33mm socket to, for these 10 stud rims. You put the uh, socket on to the arm end to loosen the nut because we're going to turn it in any clockwise direction. We want the arm down here on the right hand side. You can actually see the speed difference from the handle to the socket. And that's how easy it is to loosen the wheel nuts off. Okay, now for the fun bit of the job, get under the truck. Get the little extension that they supply and uh, fits in and you can just crank it by hand and there. Just makes the job so much easier. Make sure the service is clean, make sure all the threads are clean so that the nuts will do up nice and easily and that ensures that the uh, wheel will fit flush up against the drum and the wheels will be running true. One thing that's worth doing is spraying a little bit of CRC between the flange and the nut just helps them spin up easier and helps you get the right torque. So we put all the wheel nuts on finger tight make sure that they are not cross threaded. So to tighten your wheels back up you just crank the uh, nuts on like so. Now because we're going to uh, wind it in a clockwise direction we want the arm facing up. So again just to tighten it up just wind it around like that. And as you're winding it up you can actually feel it start to tighten up. So you just uh, you can feel the pressure coming on, that's actually getting quite tied up against that nut there. So this is the nutcracker tool and how it works. It's really an essential item to have in your toolbox, especially if you've got these 10 stud wheels. And they're available from CJD equipment throughout Australia.